Hey everyone, so for today's video I'm going to run you through a quick tutorial on how I create Milky Way Star Trail pictures. Um, so all you'll need is Adobe Lightroom CC and a free app called Star Stacks. I'll leave a link in the description on how to download this. Um, it's fairly simple really. So let's say for instance you've already got your Milky Way pictures done and you just want to import them into Lightroom first. Once they're imported, you'd want to go to your first file, that's basically your reference file, and go into the develop module. I've already got um, a Milky Way preset um, installed, but obviously you just have to go through the following uh, steps and stuff like that. So I want to use my blue, let's bring down the intensity ever so slightly and maybe add a bit more tint to it as well. Right, so once you've done that, when you hit Command A or Control A if you're on PC, and then sync, basically just sync all your photos together. And then once that's done, all your photos should be finished. So it should look exactly the same as the um, reference picture. So once that's done, you then go on to File, Export, choose your location. In my case, I need to go over to my YouTube file, uh, Astrophotography, edited for Star Stacks. So you want to edit it as a numbered version, so it starts with 01 JPEG or 1 JPEG, uh, not custom name, sorry, custom sequence, so 01 JPEG, quality is always 100, <coughs> so you export everything then. I'll skip this bit so that, you know, you don't have to go through the export with me. Okay everyone, so once you're done with the export you then go into star stacks um, you can drag and drop your images there so what I'm going to do is just hit con command A again drag and drop my images in here so the kind of star chart that you're looking for all depends on your blending mode so I'm going to do gap filling because it's the it's a Milky Way time lapse but, but it's I want the stars to look like they're much closer to each other so there's no space in between. So you can always try out comet mode as well. Um, give the stars either short trails or long trails. I sometimes prefer a bit longer trails. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna hit on comet mode. Um, also you can save after each step. Um, this helps you so you can, you can create a, milky, uh, a star trail time lapse. Um, I'll do that another video on that sometime soon so once you've got all your images there you then click start processing and as you can see it's already turning so once that's done I will get back to you all okay so once that's done you can Just tinker with this a little bit if you want to, but what I like to do is basically save straight away and then start it back in Lightroom. So you click save as. Just bring the contrast up just a little bit. Bring the highlights down. Shadows as well. Ones down. Oh, so slightly. So again, I like to I like my star trails to be a little bit blue, so I'm gonna put the tint over to about minus twenty. And bring the texture up as well. But sometimes, especially with Milky Way star trails, if you put the t uh, the temperature all the way down. Um, it doesn't necessarily show the Milky Way in, in, in between the star trail. So I'll show you an example. So you can kind of see it there, but then when it comes down here, you can't see it. Um, usually for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave it at this, but you can do a lot more in Lightroom at the end of the um, sequence if you really want to. 
So once that's done, you then export this file over to your folder and then that's it. So I hope you all enjoyed, enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of softwares you use and then I'll have a go at it as well. Um, yeah, like and subscribe for more like this. I'll be uploading videos every Monday and I hope to see you all again soon.